people of Ghana and beyond, I hope that you all are doing amazing. I always laugh. I've been laughing a lot lately and I'm wondering why. Nothing in particular, but just kind of like, I don't know if I'm in my good element or I'm stressed or something. All right. So thank you for coming back and I appreciate you for showing up again for me. And I want to say thank me for being this strong, <laughs> for keeping up with you guys, for always coming true. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, praise to God Almighty for the ability to do this. Okay. So today we are going to the northern region of Ghana. Today we are going to Tamale to take a look at Ganasco. My pain with Ganasco is that I couldn't get as much footage as I wanted and um, a couple of things. I didn't get but I'm going to try to make it work. This is a school the former president of Ghana, President John Mahama was made from the school. His wife was made from the school. So many Ghanaian top dignitaries were made from the school and that is not even why we are taking a look at this school apart from the fact that I'm everywhere like I've promised I'm going to go to every nook and corner of this amazing country the reason is this school reminds me of my own humble beginning as a child growing up in my own village but see I don't even want to talk about that let's just go to Ghana school <laughs> come back and I'll continue <laughs> Ghana Senior High School transformed from Ghana College to Ghana Secondary School and is currently bearing the name Ghana Senior High School, Tamale. The school was established in January 1960 with a student population of 70 made up of only boys. The first girl to join them was Salama to Alassan, a transferred student from Ya Asantua Girls Secondary School. The vision of the school is to provide formal education to qualified basic school leavers, admit BECE leavers. Each inception, the school admitted and prepared students to sit the GCE ordinary level examinations in the sciences and arts programs. In 1978, the school introduced the SIF form program, which admitted successful GCE ordinary level students to pursue the advanced level program. In June 1970, the name of the school was changed from Ghana College to Ghana Secondary School, Tamale, Ghana School. Amaraba, Amaraba, welcome to Tamale. Amaraba, welcome to the beautiful city of Tamale. This is not. Amaraba, welcome to the beautiful city of Tamale. Apart from Ghana School, there's no other school that will win this regional championship in the Northern Zone. Are you sure? Because you are on Tamale's campus, Tamasco. And interestingly, they call themselves the Lions. Can they do boy? If they call themselves the Lions, then we will call ourselves the Hunters. We have no won until we are able to kill the Lion. Yes. And we are here to do that. Yes. We shall truncate the joy of the Lion. Yes. They should just pray that we shouldn't meet them because they should just drop here. You know, if they joke and come there, if they joke and come there, I'm going to bisect them. Like I'm going to cut them to segment and play them. As we stand on, all the Lions, they are gone. 11 lizards. So now we are coming back for them. We are coming back for them. In regards to this, um, we have lots of uh, old students training in this school 
in the uh, sciences and the maths because uh, now we have advanced mathematics which that could help in the uh, in the course the school's objective is to develop each child to the highest level that his or her capabilities can carry him or her using the very resourceful and hard-working staff in the school it also aims at giving a holistic development of the students entrusted into our care as an ICT teacher we are very very happy that the old boys of Ghana Senior High School has come to look at how the computer lab is and how things are going on in the department. The rocket is our symbol of, uh, I think it, uh, it happened in 1974, but according to history that there was an earlier launch in 1968 that was not successful. So it continued until, I mean, uh, I think the history is written everywhere put him into practice what we have learned in science. And uh, if you see on our crest rocket, that's our, uh, our symbol. Yeah. And beyond that, at least we've seen that uh, Ganaskans are everywhere now. So wherever you find yourself as a Ganaskan, be visible. Contribute positively. Say that the name of Ganasko will keep on rising. The motto is that patience and perseverance. You should be patient and persevere in whatever activity you are involved in. I'm talking about that. I want to remind the public that Ghana School was the first school, secondary school in Ghana to launch a rocket. And that time, I can assure the public that the whole of Africa, we, we, we were the first school to launch a, a, a rocket, and the second after Russia. I could not get as much footage as I, I wished to before I started this. Like, I've done everything. I've searched. I have done everything. I went on Facebook trying to see if I can find, but it was very difficult. But I said, let's make do with what we have. You can see some things are missing, things like their parade, which I usually do for all the schools. Uh, let's go back and meet the ex-students of Ghana School. Let's go check out their ex-students and I will be back. Let's go. President Mahama, Lodina, Ayarega, Alasana, Ayarega, Honorable Gina, for the general Abedi Pin. 1970, we produce a rock. 2012, we produce a president, first wife, ministers, lawyers, doctors. Where you were the house prefects between 1976 and 1978. Your Excellency, you sent men at work to ensure that your own block was renovated in readiness for the 60th anniversary of our famous Ghana School. The entire structure has been rewired electrically. And dormitories have been provided with electric funds so that in the heat the children can have a little relief. Wall hangers have been provided so they can hang their school uniforms. All the doors have been replaced with uh, locks, with resurfaced the whole front of the building where we are standing. And security lights have been fixed all around, including the area towards the boys' toilet. The abandoned washrooms and toilets as was in the original trash schools, has been cleaned out and available for use as cubicles or box rooms. The treatment of the walls and repainting of the entire structure has been done. Um, we also, through my wife, Lodina, uh, extended some rehabilitation to the Lodina block, the girl block. Uh, she was instrumental in having that block built. So while I was planning for Cabral House, she also asked what was the state of Lodina Block. And uh, in the short time that was available, the building has been repainted, the netting has also been replaced, and a little work has been done, will be done, especially on their washrooms. She's concerned about their washrooms. I hear they have a problem with their washrooms. 
So this is the work that has been done so far. I'm happy to be back to my alma mater. And it gives me a very strong sense of nostalgia to be standing here, myself and um, Napoleon. And, and so in the afternoon, we'll all gather around there and we'll drink the cocoa from Calabashes. And uh, Asaga and Co will also come across from Dakwema House and Pesa House to come and join us. We started so young, just turned out very prominent people of citizenry. The school has produced a president for the Republic of Ghana, something we should be very proud of. Uh, produce a first lady, produce a Supreme Court judge, produce uh, professionals. I think that is the school that, uh, the memory of which I can never lose until I die. My real formative years, uh, the time that people can get it right or wrong, were really when I was in Ghana school. And I think, thankfully, uh, because of the kind of people who really put their hands in my life, the teachers, I mean, and some of my seniors, who I am today. Secondary education shapes the human in terms of education. But without secondary education, I'm not sure we'll all be where we are. So Ghana is going to give us that life and that strength and that education and that opportunity that we have where we are. So we say kudos to Ghana Secondary School Tamale. Ghana School has instilled discipline in me. Ghana School taught me the understanding of perseverance. Because I tell people that before I came to Ghana School, I couldn't speak English. I mean, nobody spoke English to me at home. My parents were interested in business. And when I came to Ghana School, that was when I felt the need to also attempt to speak English language. And it is interesting when I tell people this. Ghana School is an Atiba. Ghana School has produced a lot of uh, people in diverse. But I must say that very few schools have produced a sitting president and then his spouse. That's a challenge thrown to other schools. Yes, so it's a major achievement of the school. Um, in 1970, uh, we had an Indian uh, expatriate staff together with his students who worked on a rocket and then uh, launched it. In fact, that was the first south of the Sahara to uh, be launched. Uh, and it is something that Ghana School cannot lose sight of. Matter of fact, it was sometime in November 1959 that uh, we went over to Tamale from our various places. I came in from Wa Middle Day School. We sat for an exam, a special exam actually. After a while, we received telegrams, letters that we were successful. And so, we went to Ghana College as a second batch in September of 1960. So they had dropped me off at school at uh, 9 a.m., but we were supposed to report at uh, 5 p.m. So, I, nobody was there to receive me, so I left my blue chop box in front of the um, main block. And then I, st I think that uh, the other tree is still out there. So I, I walked across there and climbed the other tree and I was sitting there the whole day. Oh. 
long, yes. Until around uh, 4 30, I realized that they had gone for gardening and they were coming to Bruno's house. There was, Bruno's are behind, there was the Pigri and yes. Brunei, right? Yes. So I realized that they were coming from uh, just, just oh, maybe this uh, so I just went after that. So I came down from the tree and walked to the to the front of the uh, so I said to you, I said to you, to one look at me. Are you a former boy? I say yes. And he asked me, why are your shoes? I didn't have shoes. Nothing. I was walking barefooted. So where's my so I said that's my trouble. So, so he collected the key, opened it, and took my slippers. It was still in the rubber. You know, those the slippers were yeah. sold in rubber. So he tore the rubber, opened it and put my feet inside. So he just grabbed me. Oh, it was quite an eventful day. And I was I was very tiny. He took my pillow, put it in his uh, armpits, and then uh, took my chop box and asked Anafu. Uh, Robert, Robert Anafu, or uh, there were two Anafus. There were two Anafu, the one who was in form two at the time. So they were, he actually put my chop box on Anafu to, to, to carry it to. <laughs> So I was in form one, and somebody carried my chop box. Yeah, yeah, I was being served, and he was dragging me. <laughs> Remember very well that we didn't have a girl's brief, uh, dormitory. So we were uh, virtually using one of the um, school, uh, I think for one of the teachers okay. as our dormitory. So some of us ended up at the boys' quarters wow. and we gave ourselves uh, the boys' quarters girls. And just opposite was bush. Sometimes it used to be very frightening because uh, you just look over there and no lights and all that. But then it was a very good experience for some of us uh, having to move from our safety zones and then come in there. It really helped us and molded us to be able to face difficulties uh, wherever we go, uh, whether they have water or not. It was a great experience being in Ghana school. I was assigned to Cabral House, and so I was in Cabral House throughout until uh, so I finished. I became the prefect of Cabral House. Ghana school helped to mold me and make me what I what I am. Um, I had come from Achimota Primary, and so of course the culture of reading and all that had been inculcated in me. And then it continued while I was in Ghana school. We had a good library. Um, we we had good laboratories, uh, chemistry, physics, I mean we had all the regions, we had all the uh, instruments that we needed, you know, to get a good education. One of my favorite subjects was uh, biology, even though I was not a science student, <laughs> I used to give the science students a run for their money when it comes to biology. Um, social life was great. Um, we used to take part in a lot of sports. Um, I was part of the Boy Scouts movement. If you remember that picture you saw with uh, Brigadier General Wooney, that was on social media recently. It was on a scouting trip. We had gone into the bush to um, do these scouting activities. Yeah, And so scouting was one of my favorite uh, activities. Um, I was not too good a sportsman. I wasn't good in football. I wasn't good in uh, anything. The only athletics, no, I, I couldn't run. Um, Babyface and Co were the ones who were the, the runners, Seaman and others. And uh, Ganasco was a very talented school in sports. And so we used to give Tamasco a very tough time. I mean, when it came to athletics, I mean, we would beat them in athletics. And then I remember the famous uh, football match we played at the Bagabaga Baga Park. And we defeated Cham Tamasco 2 1. <laughs> and they, they beat us. <laughs> I told you guys at the beginning of the video that their story is similar to mine. Like I come from a place where I went to school by the grace because at, at that time there were no lot of people to look up to. All right. A few persons that I know that went to school from my place, like 
my part where i come from there were few persons that were privileged to get education and today they are not the same as every other family so they get better and better well, i mean you can see one of the s students saying that he went to school no shoes nothing and i was like oh my god oh my god this is so me like i was a lot better than some students during that time but i could i could relate all right so yeah i'm happy and look at them today they turn out great ruling ghana and being you know everywhere in all sectors of uh, the economy of the country i am you know it's good let's go back and do random tour like we have always done and i'll be back let's go what happens is that country then corrupts. You come back to your country. How will you solve the corruption in your country? So I believe the conversation we are supposed to raise is how to tackle this problem of corruption and not how to leave the country. If we leave the country, prosperity will curse us because we are the brand ambassadors of this country and we must make sure we settle all the problems before the next generation. We don't expect to leave the country for them to come and solve the problems for us. It is our turn and we must do our part in the development of the country. With the issue of corruption, we all agree. We are all present in this country and we know that we are all members of the corrupt society. But it is not reasonable that we should run away from our country. We should take steps and measures to tackle the problem of corruption and tomorrow we'll have a better country for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. My good brother always coming with very, very insightful contributions. I think the problem with the country as to whether the, the, the issue is the current state of um, the country attributed to bad followership or bad leadership. Yes. I do brother. getting footages for this video was hard sometimes people that help me get videos the most to do my videos at ease without getting into problem with youtube are uh, students of a school or some schools just on their own have a youtube channel so there are some videos you can't use when you are doing this um reaction video thing so i'm careful because i believe you guys still want this channel to stay so in case i could not get as much as i have always gotten for other schools take it like that okay it's not my fault i couldn't find the videos all right and i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you guys in another one bye